In today's video, I'm gonna show you 11 ways how to use Google Data Studio for e-commerce store. Now, the first way is to create in Google Data Studio a dashboard snapshot of these daily sales and send it to the stakeholders. Okay, what you need to do is to create a date range that's showing yesterday's data, connect all the data sources you want, like Google Analytics, Shopify, and so on. And then uh, you should just click here and schedule a mail delivery and uh, set up a schedule for it. Uh, the next way is to use Google Data Studio to connect your Google Analytics e-commerce data. I do have a dashboard template and I will leave uh, the link below. And you can use it with your Google Analytics data just to here to connect your data source and you will see your own J data. Also, you can do the similar things to your traffic sources. I'm using Google Ads and you can also here connect your uh, Google Ads account and use this dashboard template. I will leave the links in the description below and see your uh, PPC data. Also, you can do similar dashboards for all your other traffic sources like Facebook and so on. Uh, the next way to use Data Studio is to create conversion rate monitoring dashboard. Basically, we connect the GA data and uh, I visualize it in the way to show the data related to conversions. And we split conversion rates by desktop plus tablet, conversion rate by mobile, conversions by countries, by resolutions, and uh, so on. Also, we can observe funnel, uh, the users over time, and uh, percentages of add to carts versus product use check out to act to cars and, and the transactions to check out. You can create something similar and monitor um, conversion rate to find some kind of fluctuations or trends. Uh, the next way to use Data Studio is to create Shopify dashboard. Actually, you can connect all the Shopify data to Data Studio and visualize it. The next way is to connect your email marketing data. If you are in an e-commerce brand, then probably you're using Klaviyo. It is possible to connect this data source and uh, visualize your flow and campaign data, your open rates, revenue, and so on. It is also possible to visualize LTV data in Data Studio for your e-commerce store and it will be really beneficial to monitor orders per customer, LTV, one-time buyers and so on. In this case, we need to use uh, Shopify data. This dashboard is quite complex. Uh, that's why it's, it's better to send all the sales data from Shopify into database. I recommend BigQuery and then you will be able to create something like this and monitor your LTV. The same is true for RFM dashboard. Based on the Shopify sales date, we can create some segments by recency, monetary and frequency and build this kind of charts with particular emails, the last order date order count day since the last purchase and LTV also we can uh, divide all our customer based different uh, RFM segments. As the next way to use Data Studio for e-commerce is to create an hourly performance dashboard. I will leave a link to a one of the, my videos in the description and it is showing how to refresh data from J on an hourly basis and also can be 30 minutes, 15 minutes, up to one minute. It helps to uh, monitor hourly performance of uh, your sales, ad spend across uh, traffic sources and so on. Another way to use Data Studio, it can be matching data from Facebook and Shopify by UTM parameters. And this way you can better understand your sales attribution. I recorded the video about this. So the link in the description below for you to check. In Google Data Studio, it's quite convenient to manage your inventory data. To do it, you just need to connect your sales data from GA or from Shopify. 
with your inventory data and I also have a separate video about it and uh, we'll leave in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Google Data Studio and if you need help with uh, building your e-commerce data infrastructure, uh, check the links in the description below.